Hello and happy new year. Today I have a lower body workout for you that is going to take you 15 minutes to complete. In this workout, we're gonna use a mix of slider exercises and body weight exercises. It moves continuously, so you have a seven minute sequence on each leg and we're gonna just flow from one exercise into the next. So for equipment, all you'll need is a slider or I'm just gonna use a dish towel. If you have hardwood floors, that'll work perfectly. As with all workouts, you wanna make sure you're properly warmed up beforehand and always listen to your body, modifying or stopping as needed. The best way to modify in this workout though is just going to be to pause the video and take breaks instead of doing the whole seven minutes nonstop. These exercises are all low impact. There's no jumping around. So it's really suitable for all levels. Um, again, the difficulty comes in with the non-stop aspect of it. So just pause if you need to. If you're new to my channel, I don't play music in the background because I want you to be able to listen to whatever you like. We're gonna really focus on form in this one. So I'm gonna be giving a lot of cues, pretty much talking non-stop throughout it. But if you do want some music, I would get a playlist or a TV show or a podcast queued up now. I'm gonna give you a little sped up preview of the exercises coming up, um, but it's really simple. It's basically a sliding back lunge and then variations, a curtsy lunge, variations, and donkey kicks with variations. And I'm gonna guide you through everything. So it should be pretty easy to follow along, but let's get to that quick preview and then we'll get going. Okay, so this is about a seven minute flow on each leg. We're gonna start on our left leg. So your left foot will be planted and the ball of your right foot will be on the slider or if you're using a towel, put it on a towel. It's not about how many reps you get in. So I want slow controlled movements. At any point, if this is too much, your best modification is gonna be to hit pause on the video and then start back up when you're ready. We're gonna start in a lunge position. Your hips are square. The back heel is lifted high. Weight is gonna stay in your left Heel. We're gonna start with just a simple back lunge in three, two, one, let's go. So we're gonna stay here for 45 seconds, just moving slowly up and down. Now notice I have a hinge forward with my torso, so my shoulders are gonna stay pinned over the front knee. I'm not straight up and down. By leaning forward like this, we're gonna activate through the glutes and hamstrings a little better um, versus if we were straight up and down. So we're 20 seconds in, we have about 25 seconds to go. I don't care what you do with your hands, but I want your chest open, so brought across the collarbones. Core is active, so you're drawing your ribs in towards your midline. We have our first hold coming up. I want you to meet me at the bottom in three, two, one, hold. All right, now square your hips, so shift your left hip back, right hip forward slightly, slightly, squeeze your seat, elbows wide, fingers by your ears. When you did that, did your rib cage just puff open? If it did, I need you to draw the ribs in towards your midline. Picture someone's pulling your hips back slightly and let's start to hinge from the torso. So it's like a little bowing motion, almost bringing your torso parallel to the floor and then up to a 45 degree angle. Tilting forward, lifting up just to about 45 degrees. We're gonna hold again in three, two, hold. Arms can come down full range in three, two, one, let's go. So just 30 seconds here, moving in that full range of motion up and down. I want you to notice where your weight is. It should be in your front heel. You should have very little weight in your back foot. Again, that's why we have this lean forward. We got our final hold coming up. We're gonna add on to what we did the first time. Get ready to meet me at the bottom in three, two, one, hold. All right, square your hips, right hip shifts forward, squeeze your butt so we're not just dumping into our hip flexibility. Elbows wide, abs in tight, let's start that hinging motion. You hinge from the hips so your whole torso is moving as one unit. You're gonna hold at a 45 degree angle. In three, in two, hold. Now start to bend your back knee in and then glide that leg straight back out. You can bring your hands to heart center if you'd like. 
I want you to stay low on this left side. You got it. 15 seconds, and then we move into our next lunge variation. Make sure shoulders stacked over this front knee. Slow slide in, straighten it out. You got it. We have a curtsy lunge coming up next. We're going to keep this back leg straight in three, two, one. All right, so come up to the top, and now we're just going to take it into a curtsy lunge. So this right leg is going to sweep behind the left, but same deal. We keep a big lean forward with the torso, slowly up to the top. We have that lean forward with our torso, so shoulders are over the front knee. And barely any weight in that back right foot. It is staying in our front left heel. Now, I don't want you to completely open up through your hips, so I want you to think of drawing your right hip forward in line with the left. So that might mean you don't have as deep of a cross through the legs, and that is absolutely fine. First of two holds is coming up. You're going to meet me at the bottom in three, in two, take it low, hold, just hold to start. Now again, draw your left hip back, right hip forward a little bit. Keeping this lean forward with the torso, I want you to bend your back right knee in just halfway. Hold, little pulses, down and up. Can you shift your hips back? Make sure the knee is staying right over your heel. Down and up, you got it. On my count, we're going to straighten out that back leg. We go back to our curtsy lunge in three. Two, one, hold low, straighten out that back leg, up and down. Woo, okay, I'm starting to feel that burn. In 15 seconds, we're gonna go down to the bottom one last time. It is just one more little round of those pulses, and then you're done with lunging, and we'll make our way down to the floor. We'll ditch the slider. All right, next time down, hold low. Big lean forward, square your hips a little bit for me. Bend that back knee in, but not a bunch of weight in that foot. Start to dip down and up. Now I want you to think about keeping your hips level to the floor as you dip. So when you dip, think of leading with your left hip, not leading with your right hip. Down and up. You have 10 seconds. Now we're gonna come to a tabletop and I'm gonna put the towel under my right knee for padding, forearms. Come down to the mat in three, two, one. Woo, okay, we got donkey kicks. Right knee is on the towel, forearms are down, left knee bent, left foot flexed, and you're just gonna start driving that heel up to the ceiling and lowering it down. You can do this on straight arms if you'd like. I like doing it on forearms because we're gonna be here quite a bit and it's gonna be easier to keep your spine at neutral. So as that heel drives up, I don't want you dumping into your low back, so it's not this. Abs in tight, draw your navel to your spine. All right, hold at the top, give me a little pulse. Up an inch, up an inch. Don't even think of actively lowering the leg, just think heel to the ceiling. Squeeze, you're making a fist with that left butt cheek. When we go to full range, we're gonna cross. Left knee across to right calf. Let's go, so tap it to the outside of that right calf, drive it back up. Across, drive it back up. So going at a little diagonal here, Fifteen more seconds. We have two more variations to get through, okay? That is it, two variations. You got this. Coming up next, we're gonna hold at the top and we're gonna swivel open. Hold at the top. Now keeping it high, it's just a tight little twist open. Lift that left knee, bring it back down. So it's kind of like a fire hydrant, but because we're keeping the knee lifted, it's a very tight twist. Now when you twist, don't dump open like this. So we're still thinking of pulling the left hip down in line with the right. Tight little twist, whoo, that burns. And lower, peel open abs in tight. Shift a little extra weight into your left forearm so you're not dumping into that outer right side. Last change coming up, I want you to swivel open, Hold the swivel open, straighten out your leg, kick the leg to the side slightly, straight leg pulses, up, up. So the leg is not directly behind you, it's out to your left side a little bit. Pulse it up an inch, up an inch. Outside ankle bone leads the way. You have 15 seconds left on this leg, burn it out, you got it. If you're not feeling this, you might need to swing the leg forward a little more, okay? Final countdown, give me four, three, two, one, woo, child's pose. Slide your bum back to your heels, reach those arms forward. Take a couple deep breaths here. 
So you have a full minute before we do that exact same seven minute sequence on the right leg. No jumping around or big crazy movements, but it's deceptively hard. <laughs> Okay, the first side isn't as bad because you don't know what you're in for, but now we get to do that whole thing again on the right leg. Um, and the second leg's also a little harder because we've already burnt out our supporting side. So that's why I wanted to do left side first today because most of us are right side dominant, so we'll kind of save our stronger side for last when we need that extra strength. So apologies to my lefties out there, okay? <laughs> Let's start making our way into our lunge position. Your right foot is going to be forward. Left foot is going to be on the towel. Square your hips. We're gonna hinge forward at the hips and we're gonna keep weight in this front right heel and we're gonna stay light through the left side. We're gonna get going in three, two, one. Let's start to go. So your hips slide back, torso hinges forward. So picture from the top of your head to that back left heel is one long diagonal line. Now you can do whatever you want with the arms for now. You could have hands at heart center, hands on hips. You could even do arms behind your back. Um, but I want you to make sure that your chest is staying broad. And we're not dumping into the low back. We're not puffing out through the rib cage. So you're drawing your ribs in towards your midline. You have 15 more seconds to go, slowly down and up, and then we'll go into our first hold. We're gonna meet down at the bottom in three, two, one, hold. All right, first step, square your hips. So draw your left hip forward, right hip back. Squeeze your bum so we're not just dumping into your hip flexibility. Elbows wide, fingers by your ears, and then knit your ribs together. Now picture someone is pulling you by the leggings back slightly, and let's start to bow. So you're tilting forward with the torso, bringing your chest almost parallel to the floor, and then just lifting that chest up to about a 45 degree angle. Again, don't come up all the way, okay? The top of our head is never pointing straight up towards the ceiling. All right, pause. We're going to take it back to full range. Slowly up in that lunge. Hands can come down wherever is comfortable. And then take it down to the bottom again. So we have 30 seconds here in this full range of motion. Again, it's not about how many reps you get in. It's about slow, continuous movement. Get ready to meet me down at the bottom in three, two, hold low. All right, square those hips, squeeze your seat broad across the chest and collarbones, elbows wide, fingers by the ears. Let's start to bow. You're tilting forward, lifting up just to that slight angle. You're not here for long. You are gonna hold it low with your torso at that 45 degree tilt. Slide that back knee in in three, two, one, let's go. Draw that back knee in, but when you do, I don't want you to dump forward with your right knee. So make sure that right knee is staying right over that right heel. Try not to shift too much weight into your left foot as you draw it in. You have 10 seconds to go. If you notice yourself pulling on your head, you can always bring your hands into heart center. Curtsy lunge in three, two, one, let's go. So we're gonna take it up to the top and now that left leg is just going to sweep behind over to the right side. We're keeping the back leg straight. We're keeping that lean forward with the torso. Pickles, I'm busy. <laughs> now let's make sure that the right knee is staying directly over the heel and it's tracking in line with your middle toes and you don't want to completely open up through the hips so I want you to think of shifting that left hip forward in line with the right so that might mean you don't have as deep of a cross and that's fine first of two holds coming up you're going to meet me at the bottom in three two, hold low. Okay, lean forward, draw your left hip forward, right hip back. From here, I want you to bend your left knee in just halfway, shift your hips back an inch, and let's start to dip down and up, down and up. You got it. 15 more seconds. Dip and lift. When you dip, think of leading with your right hip, okay? Right hip leads the way up. Don't tilt your hips down to the left. Hold low, straighten out your back leg to that lunge. Up and down, you have 30 seconds here. Now, if this bothers your hips at all, you can always do it with a bent back knee. That can help. Otherwise, though, that leg is long. I'm 
We have one more hold down low, same deal. Get ready to meet me in that lowest curtsy in three, two, hold low. Big hinge forward, bend your back knee in. Square your hips, sit a little lower. Start to dip down and up, you got it. Down and up, woo, that leg should be talking to you. Down and up, when you come up, you're not coming up very high, okay? It's a pulse, you're staying low at the bottom, you got it. Up a smidge, down a smidge. Almost there, it's 10 seconds, hang out. Up an inch, down an inch. I meant to say hang with me, not hang out. <laughs> We're in tabletop in three, two, one. Okay, I'm gonna bring the padding under my left knee. I'm gonna to come to my forearms. We're gonna start with donkey kicks. Your right knee is bent, right foot flex. We're gonna drive that right heel up, pause at the top and bring it down. So as you drive that knee up, you're thinking of making a fist with that right butt cheek. Squeeze, kick up, hold. We're not dumping into the low back. So I want you to think about maintaining neutral spine. That also means a long neck. So your head is not drooping like this. And let's hold at the top, it's a little pulse from here. It's up an inch, up an inch. Now I want you to think of kind of engaging your inner thighs towards your midline, squeezing them in slightly to center just so that you're not opening up through that hip. We're gonna bring knee across to the calf in three, two, one. Right knee comes across to the outside of that left calf, drive it back up. Across, squeeze it back up. Pickles. Give me a break. <laughs> we have two more variations to get through. In under 10 seconds, you are going to hold that knee up at the top and we're gonna do that tight swivel. It's kind of like a fire hydrant, but you keep the knee lifted. All right, hold at the top. Now from here, just lift the right knee open to the right a little bit, swivel open, and then it's a tight twist back. It's a small movement, but woo, does it burn. And I'm gonna show you a picture right here, what it looks like from the front, just in case you can't see enough, um, well enough here what I'm doing. Squeeze, twist it open, oh my gosh. My butt cheek is on fire. We have one more variation. We are gonna straighten out this right leg with it out turned, okay? Hold it out turned, straighten the leg, kick the leg to the side slightly, and then it's a little lifted pulse. So picture you're spiraling your thigh open to the wall or the windows. The outside ankle bone leads the way. And if you don't feel this, you might need to kick your leg forward a little bit so it's closer to being in line with your hip, okay? Abs in tight, shift a little extra weight into your right forearm so we're not dumping into that outside left side. Final few seconds, give me four, give me three, give me two, one, done, child's pose. But back to your heels, stretch those arms forward. Whew. All right, that was your workout, awesome job and I'll see you guys next week. Hope you enjoyed that workout. If you did, you know the drill. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post new workouts here every Monday, so I will see you next week. <laughs>